what we have before us on the screen here is an Excel file uh, that you notice uh, the variable that is reported here is the region of respondents um, from the 1994 uh, General Social Survey, a survey that was administered to 2,992 uh, respondents uh, in person in their homes. Uh, I've broken down region in terms of northeast, midwest, south, and west, and we see a frequency distribution and also a percentage distribution um, for that variable. What we're going to do with this frequency distribution is to create a bar chart so we can see visually uh, the distribution of respondents across these four regions of the U.S. for this particular year of the survey. What we'll do is we will highlight the labels as well as the frequency of each category, Northeast, Midwest, South, and West. And we, I always put these in a column so the frequency goes down the column as does as do the categories for each of the uh, uh, four regions here. Once the, the area is highlighted that you wish to plot, that is the labels as well as the frequencies for each of those categories, come up to the insert menu, left mouse click, and over here towards the middle uh, are the options here for charts. What I will do is just go up and find the chart here, or the little button here for um, uh, for co what they call column charts, we'll call bar charts. You notice there are other options such as a, a horizontal bar chart, a uh, line chart, scatter plot, um, pie charts, area charts, and some others that you can create. So we're going to now just report this information into a bar chart. So hide, put your mouse on that particular button and click once with the left mouse button and here comes a range of options. Uh, what we'll use is just the most basic option here. Uh, next to it are going to be uh, stacked bar charts. I would avoid um, using any of the 3D bar charts down here. Um, so we're just going to choose the most basic bar chart. And you see it opens the bar chart here right in front of us. Now this is reporting the frequency distribution and we know that by if you look at what is highlighted in blue and also in purple. The purple indicating here the labels for each category and the blue area indicating uh, the data that is reported. And we can also see uh, the values from 0 up to 1200. Uh, we notice here that certainly is not going to be percent. That has to be the frequency distribution that we have here. So that's an easy way of starting off creating a frequency distribution uh, reporting here within a bar chart. What I'm going to do, though, is just highlight that and delete it. Let's go ahead and instead plot the percentage distribution. So you notice it opens up and starts to create the bar chart right on the worksheet where the data are. I'm going to click that one more time, that, that chart, and go ahead and click Delete. Now with that first bar chart deleted, let's go back and and do the same process. This time we're going to carry all the way through uh, plotting the uh, uh, percentage distribution in the form of a bar chart. So we'll come over and what we noticed before when we highlighted the information to plot, we went to the upper left hand um, up, upper left hand most uh, cell, clicked and dragged the cursor to highlight information all the way down to the lowest right hand Set, uh, cell that we would be plotting. And that was easy to do since they were uh, 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 columns that were of information next to one another. But here what we have here is the percentage information, the data, is in column C, while the labels for each region are in column A. So we're going to have to hi highlight each of those columns one at a time. So I'll move the cursor here then to uh, A4, which is where the first label is for our categories. Click and drag. Now I'm, I let go of the left mouse button, and now I'm moving the cursor up to the first cell that we see here that has information in column C for the data. I'm holding down the click and hold the um, control key. Now I'll click the left mouse button and drag to highlight all that data and let go of both the control and the left mouse button. And now we see here we've highlighted the information that we wish to plot come up to the insert menu, 
left mouse button to open it up. And I'm moving over again to the uh, bar chart, or what Excel refers to as a column chart button. Click once with the left mouse, left mouse button and click again once we move the cursor over the top type of uh, column and we use the uh, 2D bar chart that they have here. And we notice then that the chart appears on the spreadsheet where the data are. One of the nice things about that is we can see very clearly the data and the labels uh, as well as the, the chart itself all at one time. But what becomes difficult with this, first of all, we'll notice that it's fairly small, the chart, so it's a little more difficult than what we'll see in a moment um, for actually modifying uh, the chart itself and getting it to the shape and form that we that we like, formatting it the way we wish. And also, if there's a lot of data that's being reported on the spreadsheet, sometimes the chart then uh, overlays on top of the data, the column information that we're trying to, to use sometimes. So we have to click and drag it elsewhere in a spreadsheet where there's nothing uh, that's contained there so we don't uh, obscure the information that we're reporting. But let's now move this chart to a separate sheet, which is what I like to do, before we go and actually start to modify it. Now you notice that the chart is highlighted. If I click off it on any cell away from it, you notice the chart no longer has uh, the highlighted um, border and also we notice then that the data itself that the chart plots is not highlighted. Move the cursor on top of the chart again, left mouse button, and we know it's highlighted because now we see the information is highlighted that's reported in the chart, but also we notice the border as well as the boxes around that border indicate that it's highlighted. We'll notice then that we have two tabs labeled chart tools. One is a format tab that we can insert certain shapes and so on, as well as modify the style of the text and whatever we have here. Uh, the one which you'll find most useful, I think, is going to be the design tool. Here's where we do an awful lot more of the, of the work. We notice over here that we will add certain elements. We can change colors, even change chart styles. Uh, we're just going to demonstrate a few of these uh, from time to time. We can even, even then change the chart type it itself from a uh, bar chart to some other chart if we decide that there's a different uh, tool that is more useful. There's one last item here on the design tab we've not talked about yet, and that is the move chart location. And you notice as I move the cursor up to it, it becomes highlighted in that uh, light blue color. So what we'll do is move the chart to its own separate sheet It'll be larger and it won't be obscuring any of the information that we want to see. So I'll click on the left mouse button uh, on the move chart and it brings up the option to a new worksheet. Now I can just call it chart one, which I'll use that. Otherwise I can uh, change that information and give it its own title if I so chose. Let's go ahead and click OK. And we'll notice then that we see a separate tab opens up, chart one, which again I can double click on that chart if I wish and uh, give that uh, chart a new name. But I'm not going to change the name of this uh, sheet uh, from anything other than chart one for right now. And what we'll do next is we'll demonstrate how we can add elements uh, to the chart.